So a few months ago, after Mr. LeBlanc had publicly stated there was no discriminatory, teach discriminatory teaching in our schools, I came to this board and I held up this worksheet, which came to light from a concerned parent in our community. I would like to reiterate the discrimin discriminatory definition of racism that was taught in our schools on this worksheet for the new board members and enter it into the record once again. Racism, the marginalization or oppression of people of color based on a socially constructed racial hierarchy that favors white people. <clears throat> At the time I stated, this garbage violates the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment and federal and state anti-discrimination laws. I advocated for the board to write a policy that reinforces the anti-discrimination poli anti policy which is already in place and to prevent further discriminatory teaching. A few weeks ago, an incident report was filed with the Foundation Against Intolerance and Racism, FAIR, citing this and other teaching materials in Enfield. It is now a matter of broader public record what is happening in Enfield. And I would like to enter this into the record as well for the board and read an excerpt. Quote, a group of parents have brought to my attention the potential liability to the town of Enfield Public School District that the current professional development as well as student equity training proses. Further redefining the term equity appears to promote inequality, thus violating discrimination laws. Finally, I've uploaded the vocabulary list from the civil discourse materials and an identity worksheet that promotes race-based learning provided to the Enfield Public School children. Please note the inaccurate definition that egregiously discriminates by race while defining racism. The training equity policy and materials violate the board's own adopted policies, as well as state and federal discriminatory and civil rights laws." End quote. The impact of teaching discrimination to our children is immeasurable. But if that is not of immediate enough concern, I urge the board to answer this question. What will be the financial impact on our town if a lawsuit is brought forth for discrimination? A lawsuit because of policy and legal violations causing millions of dollars would reach beyond the board and have a direct impact on the taxpayers of this community. What would that look like? Board policy 1221 allows for the forming of a special citizens advisory committee to address issues and concerns. I am requesting for this board to be transparent and form such a committee so that we may work together to find solutions and prevent further damage. Thank you.